hello everyone in today's video we will be looking at how we can solve subset sum queries problem using bit set so let me define the problem first so the problem here is we are given an array in this case we are given an array of four elements which is one two three three okay so these are the elements of the array and we are given another element of queries so we have uh, four queries here as well so for each query what we have to do is we have to output a subset sum so what i meant by that is let us look at this query so for query 0 which is 3 we have to tell that if a subset sum lies inside the array or not so 3 we know inside the array we have 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so answer will be yes in this case that subset sum lies okay so for 5 now we will check similarly for 7 and similarly for 20 so for 5 we have 2 comma 3 and for 7 we have let's see we have 7 or not so we have so for 7 we have 3 3 and 1 which is equal to 7 okay and for 20 we don't have the sum because if we sum all the elements inside this uh, it will be 9 at max so in this case we will get a no and in this yes and in this yes as well so we have looked at what the problem really is now let us look at the approach how we can approach this problem so the approach to this problem can be using a, a bit set so we will first create a bit set so let's say we create a bit set of size uh, let's name it b and size will be equal to okay okay so now let us look at the approach of solving this using bit set so first we will create a bit set of let's say 10 elements so we will create a bit set of 10 elements b and then what we can do is we can initialize it with 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so initially we know that when we create a bit set without explicitly providing it anything it is always initialized with zeros so now what we can do is uh, we know with every each array so with any array let us take an array with an element zero so or an array with no element so an empty array so we know that let me index this first and then i will explain how it is happening so we know that with every array we can create a subset sum of zero so we have to set the uh, this last bit or the zeroth bit as one so we will set this as one which means we can create a subset sum of zero with every element uh, with every array okay so now what we have to do is we have to traverse the array so let me write, uh, rewrite my array here again which was one two three and three so let me traverse it so the first element is one so what we have to do for one is uh, we have to left shift the bit set so left shift the bit set by that element so arr zero which is equal to one so when we do this left shift what we will get is uh, so this is the bit set here with one at zeroth position so what we will get is this uh, one will shift uh, towards left so let me write it what we will get one two three four five six seven eight so the ninth will uh, be one so we will number it from here so what it mean uh, by that is that we are saying that uh, by the element one whose value is one we can create a subset sum of one but we can also create a subset sum of zero which was from the last bit set so we have to bring that zeroth bit to one again so what we have to do here is we can do b or equal to this one this thing so this will come here so what i meant by that is so initially b was zero zero So this was our b and now we will do a or operation with this one so what it will do is it will set the zeroth bit and oneth bit will also be one so now zero and one oneth bit are one so what that mean is we can create a sum of uh, zero 
and 1 so this is what is meant by this now let us look at the next element so let me write the array here which is 1 2 3 and 3 and our bit set from the last operation was here so so this was our bit set where 0 and 1th bit are set now we have done uh, this one so we will go to the next element which is 2 so we will again uh, perform an operation where b and then left shift by 2 so what we will get here is let me write it quickly so we will get here 0 0 0 1 and then uh, left shift by 2 means 3 and 3 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is what we will be getting now we will do an over operation with uh, this one so we will do over with b left shift 2 and we will get let's see if we do over over of both these what we will get so we will get here 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and then 1 1 1 and 1 so let me index these so by this uh, what we meant is we can create a, a subset sum of 0 a subset sum of 1 a subset sum of 2 and a subset sum of 3 so when we look at our elements which are 1 and 2 right now up to this position we have done for 1 and for 2 so with 1 and 2 we can create a sum of 1 we can of course create a sum of 0 1 2 and 3 so those bit are set here so what we will do is we will traverse all the elements inside the array and we will uh, perform this operation what we will do is let me write the formula b or equal to b and left shift by that position so we will run a for loop from i equal to 0 to n and we will perform this operation and we will set the b bit set so when we are done setting the bit set b now let us see how we can process the queries so our queries let me write the queries here first let me write the uh, uh, array 1 2 3 and 3 now let me write the queries array which was let me see okay so the queries array is right here so 3 5 7 and 20 3 5 7 and so this is my queries array so now what we I, I will do is i will traverse this query array and so the first element in the query array is 3 <coughs> sorry so what we will do here is we will see the bit set so let me write the bit set here so bit set after doing after traversing all the elements inside the array we will get this bit set so it will have so this is what we will be getting so now what we have to do here is uh, we have to process this query so th for 3 what i will be doing is i will be checking if b b is my bit set and inside that if q of i is set that is is equal to equal to 1 then what i have to do here is i have to return 1 that means we can create this subset sum we can create subset sum and if this element is not set what we can do is else return 0 which means we can't create okay so we can't create this sum okay so this is what our algorithm is so now let us look at the code and understand that so this is our code so here we have a uh, arr the array and q which is the queries so q is queries now we have created a bit set of size 10 and we have set the 0th bit so 0th bit is set to 1 okay now we have this for traversing traversing the array so we are traversing the array and we are performing that formula which i have shown you in the approach so this is the formula and we are next what we are doing is we are processing the queries so this part is processing the
queries so what we are doing here is uh, let me see the output of this and verify it so here after doing for one what we are getting here is this one so we have set the zero and the one at bit telling that we can create a subset sum of zero and one here i have set the 0 1 2 and 3 0 1 2 and third bit and similarly here and another bits and here all the bits are that because with using 1 2 3 3 we can create 1 2 3 and then we can create 4 5 6 7 8 9 so up till 9 we can create and inside the bit set we have position from 0 to 9 and each bit is set as 1 that means we can create all the subsets i'm using these elements so this was our algorithm if you if this video was uh, useful for you please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thank you